Real quick before we get started, we have beast tokens with me on them. So go check them out at playtowinmtg.com. Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're joined once again by Bryant and Alex from The Epic Storm. I am Bryant Cook of TheEpicStorm.com, also The Epic Storm YouTube channel. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video. Also, head over to The Epic Storm YouTube channel, subscribe there. Hi, I'm Alex McKinley, also of TheEpicStorm.com. You can follow me at, on Twitter at Vivaris with an underscore after it. So we have Cameron on Dawn Waker Thrasios. Bryant's on Rock Size Storm Combo. I'm playing Winota Stacks and Alex. Alex is on rock size storm combo. <laughs> I have four acceptable cards. Nice. I also have four cards. All righty. I will get a draw. Misty Rainforest. Crack it. Going to 39. Drop Island. Cast Flinthorn Elf and pass the turn. Draw. Underground Sea. Rock Rock. Moon Snare Prototype. Pass the mm -hmm. turn. Draw card. Marsh Flats. Crack Marsh Flats. 39. Plateau, cast Esper Sentinel. Pass my turn. I will draw a play Misty Rainforest. I would like to fetch an Underground Sea. I will cast a Sol Ring. I have an Esper Sentinel trigger. You do, and I will decline to pay. Draw one card. Arcane Signet and a Roderick. Pass the turn. Get a draw. Let's play a Savannah, and we'll cast this Thrasios. I will pass the turn then. Okay, untap, dig a draw. Play a Scalding Tarn, tap the Rograk to Windsnare Prototype to make a mana. I will cast a Wishclaw Talisman. Esper Sentinel Trigger. I will fetch for Badlands going to 39, and I will pay. The Winona deck has had enough. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass the turn after that. Untap. Draw card. Play a Planes, go to combat. I guess, Bryant, I will have my Esper Sentinel come at you. If I wouldn't have paid, would you have attacked me? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you have a Wishclaw Talisman. 38. And then second main, I will cast Spirit of the Labyrinth. Esther. On the end of your turn, I'd like to cast this Vampiric Tutor. Esper uh -oh. oh, yeah, I don't, you're, I'm not gonna I mean, I'm not gonna pay, but you're not gonna draw either. <laughs> <laughs> so although in this particular situation, I do lose out on one draw from Esper Sentinel, I think overall the synergy between these two is pretty good because I can still draw a card on each of my opponent's turns. <laughs> I will take two from my Vampiric Resolves and go to 37. Someone has ad nauseum mana. I have one card left. Oh, okay. uh, fortunately, it doesn't make any mana. It's cause that's the ad nauseum. He's, he's looking for mana, that's why. <laughs> no, well, I was originally gonna get a get a wheel effect here, but um, I think that that uh, is a uh, yeah. Do that. Do that. Do that. Slightly worse. <laughs> so what uh, what other options do we have here? Man, this got a lot tougher. Magic's a hard game. That wish claw talisman is there. Spirit's fucking you up. Oh yeah. You, you how did you start it on four cards this game? Yeah. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get this card. I would like to move to my turn. I will untap, I will draw my card, and uh, I will not cast any spells on my turn. I'll just pass. You are passing. Okay. Cast a Worldly Tutor on your end step. Esper Sentinel Trigger. You may draw. Nice. Draw my one card. Okay, he's fine in docks. Actually having second thoughts. Okay. We're going to put a meal on the top and go to my turn. I will play a land, blue-green, sacrificing the Flinthorn Elf to cast a Neoform. I wrote it down. I said I, I have you on Neoform and you have it. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> Dockside is just so good right now that for you to not get Dockside, you must have a way to get Dockside already in your hand. Oh, <laughs> 100%. This is going to feel so good. I got the Emil. The Dockside's coming up next. We're ready to rumble. I have an Esper Sentinel trigger. You may take it. Nice. I would like to tap this Arcane Signet for a red man and cast a Pyroblast targeting Neoform. Fuck! <laughs> That's an Esper Sentinel trigger that I won't draw from Spirit Labyrinth, but you can pay it if you want. I, I will decline to decline to pay this one for some reason. Totally fine. All right, that sucks. I'm officially blown out. I will pass. Untap, draw, Ancient Tomb. Tap the Rograk and a red. How do we feel about a Dockside Extortionist? <laughs> Terrified. I, I passed by, I have nothing. I have nothing, no responses. I got one card in my hand. I am f 6 I have nothing to say about Dockside. So there's the two artifacts and then Dylan's two creatures? I think so, that looks like yep. four to me. I will go 236. Activate Wishclaw Talisman, giving it to Alex McKinley. Aw, oh, thanks, Brian three treasures and cast ad nauseum with one open treasure and a card in hand. Esper Sentinel trigger. You may draw. Pass on Nas. I got nothing I will pass. What is your life total? I'm at 36. 
Cam, don't get greedy. If you got something, use it. Pass the silence. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll still take Adnaz resolving. It's arguable that maybe the silence is blown a little bit too early, but this is a blue version of this Ad Nauseam deck, so I'd rather get this off now before we get all kinds of free counter magic off of this Ad Nauseam. Although I was trying to get you to blow your interaction because I don't want you to have it, obviously, I do think it is correct to try to do anything that you can to stop the Ad Nauseam before it happens, like, like you said, especially in a blue deck. I really wish I didn't give Alex that wish claw now. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna stop at nine. Discard. Go to my turn. Untap. Draw card. Wooded Foothills. Crack 38. I guess let's just get the Sacred Foundry. Go to 36. Shock myself. Cast Soul Ring. Storm one. Storm one, yeah, thank you. Tap the Soul Ring for a gold mirror. Yeah, Storm two. Cast Phyrexian Walker. Mm -hmm. Storm three. Cast Aether Sworn Cannonist. Storm four. My card's not very stormy. I will pass on Cannonist. As shall I. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Given Boros decks access to cards like Esper Sentinel is such a game changer because you can just dump your hand so easily if you're given just, just a mere morsel extra of card. By the way, I'm really happy to see that you played these stacks pieces here and decided not to go for Winota. Totally get why, but I'm I'm excited in this scenario. Yeah, at this point, after an Ad Nauseam just resolved, I felt like a... A 100% like rule of law effect into play is better than like a questionable hit off of Winota. Like I know Bryant is going to win even with what I have in play if I don't do something. And I know this Aethys Run Cannonist will do something. It'll be a problem. I'll go to combat and I'll send Esper Sentinel and Spirit of Labyrinth at Alex. I will take four damage. I got five cards in hand. I will pass my turn. I will untap. I will untap this Wish Flaw Talisman from my friend Bryant. I will draw her turn. I will play this Scalding Tarn. I will fetch down to 32. I'm going to find a Badlands. I think... I am just supposed to pass this turn. I will untap, I get a draw. I'll pay three mana and two life. Going down to 37, we'll put a Phyrexian Metamorph on the stack. I would like a Doxide Extortionist, please. One way or another, <laughs> you're gonna, gonna get him, you get him. And it's an artifact <laughs> version of that card. In response have... to the Doxide ETB trigger. Brian, I swear if you counter this ad nauseum. <laughs> we will die. I have an S percent no trigger. You may draw. If you can beat the infinite mana, draw your deck. If you counter my Nas. I can't draw my deck because of certain cards in play. So it makes nine. So that is enough to play a meal, flicker, the dock side. Right. He still has to get rid of the spirit in order to draw his deck, I believe. Yeah, so this is um, not a this is not just a win. Infinite yeah. treasures is still really good. Why would I let Ad Nas resolve though? You can counter. He won't be able to do anything. Like a really yet. poor time to cast that ad nauseum. Might be because I'm a bit of a dummy and forgot how some cards worked, but that's fine. Oh, that's been me all day. <laughs> <laughs> We're an educational show. Exactly. Yeah. Don't play how we play. We show you what not to do. So we know that Cam has Emil already. So if he gets this Dockside in play, he can use Emil to flicker the Phyrexian Dockside. But uh, fortunately, thanks to my Spirit of Labyrinth, he won't be able to draw his entire deck right yet. Alex is trying to look for interaction to stop this win, but because of the Aether Sworn Cam, Canonist, no matter what interaction you get, he's not going to be able to stop it right now either way. Hooray! You see, Cassie's ad nauseum here is bad because he <laughs> can't actually win the game like I thought he could. And I should wait until Brian's turn when Brian puts the removal spell for Canonist on the stack. And now I just get fierce I'm and I'm uh, very <laughs> sad. That was your first spell for turn, but I've already drawn, so. The metamorph happens. Dockside so trigger. Good. Brian, you want to sack that treasure or no? I do not. Is that 11? Four of them to cast a meal. Present a loop where we make infinite treasures by activating a meal to blink Phyrexian Metamorph. All good. Technically, I can't have infinite treasures, but I have exactly 900 Googleplex <laughs> treasures in play. <laughs> Is that so. the biggest number you can think of? Yeah, the right? And yeah. 900 of them, so. That, no, there's no number bigger than 900, They're, so. <laughs> <when we're> <laughs> I have a Googleplex Googleplexes. I guess you could, like, scry through your whole deck and put all of your tap lands into play. Spirit doesn't stop you from doing that. I would love to do that. Cut it from, like... Here. So what's okay. the tap card? Mana Drain. I want to end my Metamorph on, honestly, I think the Canonist. Okay. okay. So I'm in a spot now where I can't win the game. So the best thing that I can do is make sure that my Phyrexian Metamorph ends up being a piece that stops my opponents from winning the game. Untap. Do you have any effects on my upkeep? 
On your upkeep, I would like to say no. Go to draw step. Pass the turn. On your end step, I would like to crack some of my infinite treasures to get a Thrasios activation. Okie doke. Reveal mana drain. Alrighty, here we go. Untap. Okay, I think I I think I know how I really should do this. I think after I get a card on Brian's turn, I think I should then re-scry through my whole library to fix what my next draw is gonna be so that on your turn, I can get something that stops you if I need to. And I don't do that. So if, I, if you wanna play more optimally, learn from that and uh, draw card scalding tarn land for turn i guess i mean i why, why not might as well try cast winota cam you got something to say about this yeah let's uh activate thrasios bottom reveal mental misstep right because then i don't get mental misstep i could have gotten like a swords to plowshares and that would have been like significantly more helpful here yeah winota's okay mm, okay i would like to enter my combat step before combat. Okay. I would like to overload Cyclonic Rift. I have an S% on trigger, but Spirit says I can't draw. Swan Song, the Cyclonic Rift. Yep. I can't do anything about that. I get a bird. Go to combat. I will send Aether Swan Counters, S% L, Phyrexian Walker, Spirit of Labyrinth, and Gold Mirror at Alex, and I have three Winota triggers. Four, five, six. No humans. With second Winota trigger. Six. I get a combat celebrant. I will send indestructible combat celebrant coming at Cameron, I guess. Nothing fancy yet because I can't exert it here. And then my last Winota trigger. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will put in Thalia's Lancers also coming at Cameron. And then I have a Thalia's Lancers trigger. I'll find Rionia Fire Dancer as my legendary card. I'm taking eight going to 29. Also stupid. You can put your creatures in front of it and blink them with the meal. <laughs> I'll go to 25. But yep, that's it. Pass turn. Got seven in hand. I will untap my cards. Draw for turn. I'll play a Crystal Bane. Activate Wishful Talisman. I'll give that the claw dibs. to Bryant. Damn. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you, Alex. I'll find this card and pass the turn. On your end step, I would like to flicker Phyrexian Metamorph with a meal to make it a copy of Thalia's Lancers. What's a legendary permanent in that deck that you could be getting right now? It's like not oh, much that helps. Like Kinnon's in this deck. That would, that is, ex what are you talking? That's extremely helpful. <laughs> I'm still good on it. It's horrifying, but yeah. You'll get Kinnon and just check to see if there are any other legendaries. Ooh, yes, Zerda. So we can get Zerda and... Those are the rest of, those are the rest. Thrasios, put that at the bottom. Reveal swords to plowshares. End step, still, I would like to cast swords to plowshares targeting the spirit of the labyrinth. I have an Esper Sentinel trigger. Uh, I will pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Bryant, you're up first. I go to seven. Mental misstep, okay, that's fine. All right, we'll go to my turn, draw a card, go to combat. Bryant, we'll come at you with a bird and the a meal. I'm gonna send a 4-4 Thalia's Lancers and Thrasios down at Alex there too. I have no blocks. I will block the 4-4 with my dock side. I'm at five. Right, I'll go to 20. I'll cast Kenneth. Yep, yep. I would like to force a will the cannon. Oh boy. We're um, really making this difficult for Cam. Yeah, really. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't draw any more cards this turn. I will pass. On your end step, I will cast Dress Down. I pass on it. I also have to pass on it. I have to pass as well. Draw a card off uh, the Dress Down. No creatures have any abilities. Since that Dress Down was cast in an end step, it doesn't get sacrificed until the next end step. So Bryant gets to go through his whole turn with creatures having no abilities. Untap. Draw for turn. I don't know if I can actually do anything, but I don't think it's getting any better. Mana Crypt, tap the Rog for a colorless, die ball content sacrificing the Rog Rack. Pass priority. Six. Uh, I'll pass two. But it occurred to my hand. I will pitch a Simeon Spirit Guide, tap the Mana Crypt, floating a colorless Underworld Breach. Cam, you still got that Mana Drain, right? I do have the Mana Drain still. Great. Um, pass priority. I, I got nothing. I am very F6 over here. I will cast Mana Drain. I will activate my Wish Claw Talisman. It is empty. I will give it back to Alex. Sure. All right. I've selected my card. And the colorless I had floating is now gone. I will Pact of Negation the Mana Drain. I will have Pact of Negation resolve, but I will still have another response. We'll throw Mind Break Trap onto the stack. And I definitely messed up. I was supposed nice. to play my Rograk. This has been exiled. I'll go to three, play Rograk, pass. All right, it's looking promising for the home team. Untap, upkeep, draw card. I'm gonna crack Scalding Tarn. Go to 35, mm -hmm. find a basic mountain, cast Silence. Let's get a Thrasios activation. Reveal Dispel. <laughs> 
but I guess we have to do it. Let's cast the dispel. Cast Reunia, Fire Dancer. Uh, you have a new sword cast in play. Fuck me. Yes, I'm do. such an idiot. Oh yes, my god. The throw and the complete fumble at the at the finish line, right around home base. Missed the slam dunk. It's just there in front of me, and I'm like, hmm, <laughs> let me protect it. It's your own creature. Oh, my God. I can't believe I countered the fucking thing. <laughs> I know. And I'm like, yeah, in my head, I'm like, if you dispel this, then that's your one spell for turn, so you can't cast another spell. So when I cast my second spell, it'll resolve. Go to combat. This is the Alex pile of Winota, Thalia, Combat Celebrant, Esper Sentinel, Aether Sworn Canonist, Spirit of the Labyrinth, Phyrexian Walker, and Goldmire. They're all, let's make, let's do some math. 20. Look at that. An exact 20. I guess you have the raw rack, but. Okay, so I'm going to declare these as my attackers at Alex and then I have a combat celebrant trigger which I will exert it and then I have three Winota triggers. I guess I can stack them so that the Winota triggers resolve first and then combat celebrant will untap them. First one that is a indestructible grand abolisher. I guess we'll have that also come in at Alex. So this is another point where I messed up. So there's another one for your your tally for this game. Really, if I have anything to do with my Emil at this point, I need to do it now because there's always a chance that Grand Abolisher can come into play off of these effects, and then you don't have the opportunity to at all. Yeah, I think anytime a Winota attacks, you have to go through your head, do I care about Grand Abolisher, Magus the Moon, or Sanctum Prelate? Those are the big ones that once they enter, you're probably fucked. Second Winota trigger. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> That's a good one. I have a Blade Historian. That one's going to be coming at Cameron. I feel like yeah. rather dead. <laughs> now, now you're super. Now I wish I would have spread out my attacks a little bit more. Last one, Ona Trigger. I guess let's bring in this Cathar Commando also coming at Cameron. And then I have a Combat Celebrant Trigger resolving to untap them and get an additional combat after this. They all have double strike right now. Damage? I will die. <laughs> Cam, these um, are the ones that are coming at you. Blade Historian and Cathar Commando. Indestructible double strike. I will take 10 here, I guess. Yeah. Go to my second combat. I'm going to send these guys at you. These guys have summoning sickness, so they can't attack again. Neither can Combat Celebrant, but these guys can all attack you, Cameron. So that's going to be three what? more Winota triggers plus roughly 20-ish double strike damage. Winota triggers. Ho! Oh, Rick, steadfast leader. They're fucking oh, there huge. We go. <laughs> Second Winota trigger, Ma Catcher. That one's also coming at you. Fucking Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. I'm dead? uber dead, yeah. Uber nice! Dead. Bryant, I will, yeah, I'm gonna pass turn. Go ahead, do you die? Well, I'd like to know if I die for my Mana Crypt trigger or my pack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna stack pack underneath the Mana Crypt trigger. Nice. Safe, so I live through Mana Crypt, and then I will proudly die to my pack, and I outlive to Cam and Alex. Awesome. There you go. Yeah. That second, right? <laughs> Better to be lucky than good. I was very fortunate in my last one. Noda hits, although I had quite a lot. Six hits at the end is, is a lot. You're going to get through a lot of your deck. I was able to get Blade Historian and Rick, which is just so much damage. It's absolutely insane. Able to kill the table. Didn't bother attacking Bryant because he has, like he said, a Pact of Negation trigger and obviously the Mana Crypt too, so didn't feel like it was necessary. I guess that eight damage wouldn't have mattered, but... <laughs> I do love how the only game that I'm able to win against these two is when they both mulligan to four, though. <laughs> keep keep that in mind, that they were on four this game, and it was close. Oh Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so at Patreon like our $100 patron, Baby G Bus, and our $50 patrons. Eli Ritchie, Jason Perkins, Mansolo, Nikolo Marakovic, Steven Shalikti, That Green Guy, Plantain Jackson, Isaiah Berliski, Mike Lion, Pedro, Byron Wang, Kawaja A. Hamid, Jacob Depp, CZ, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Adrian Grimm, Sleepy Jarvis, Thomas Bono, Swampy McGee, Nocturnal Beaver, David Nelson, Vinny Bianca, Jormax, and Moxfield. Check out our bonfire store for our t-shirts, sweatshirts, sweatpants, all the play to win merch. If you want to pick up any of the cards that you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Go to Alter Sleeves for 5% off your order with our affiliate link. And if you want to pick up any Dragon Shield product, you can do that at our affiliate link. And then playtowinmtg.com has the beast tokens, so go check them out now too. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Okay, I think it's good. Yeah, this is a new era. Every time we switch up how we do it, it's a new era of play to win. Oh, 100%. So this, We're going into the new year this, soon. Yes, so this, this is, gonna is be, a, a new era of play to win now. Is it going to be the, the, third, the fourth year? Or is it the third year? It's our third year. We've been doing it since 2020. 2020, so yes. We did 2020. Yep. 2021. 20, 2022. So yes. we just finished three years. We're about to just finish three years. We've had this conversation.
<laughs> if we started in 2020, don't work that way. <laughs> we started in 2020. Yes. And that was one year. So we did no, 2020 no, 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 no. to 2021 is one year. No, 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 no. But you're on two. Do you see how you're no, on two? Though? 2020 to 2021. No. That's one year. 2020 to 2021 is one year. That's what I just said. Yes. 2020 to 2021 is one year. Yes. 2021 to 2022 is two years. Two years. Which yes. is where two we're years. at now. Yeah. And then 2022, 2023. Yeah. Which is where we're about to be. Yeah. Is three years. So you're saying it right, but why do you have four <laughs> fingers up? Because the, so we've we've done it for almost three years. No, 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 no. So we so did it for all of 2020. We did year. it for all of 2021. Yeah. We did it for all of 2022, which is this year. So yes, but when you, when you were born, you weren't one, right? I, no, no, no. I'm just saying we've done it for three years. So we're going into our fourth year. Yes. Yes, that's all I'm saying. We're going into yes. It, we so, will have but, done it for three years. So you're saying it's about to be our third anniversary. Yes, it's which about means, to yeah, be. which means that we've completed three years. So we're both right. Yeah. I don't want people to see my hands like that though. So like I'll have to go like this. Like well, the camera adds five pounds to their hands. I should get fake hands and duct tape them. Sorry, <laughs> just grazed your leg. We're not we're we're not used to the <laughs> yeah we're not the used close to being close. space anymore. <laughs> Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan and I'm Cameron. This week we're joined by Bryant and Alex from the Epic Storm. And I'm Wait, Cameron. No, we have to do those because we're just yep. together now. That's true. Welcome to Play to Win. 